Hi and welcome to the all-important tutorial on how to install your uh, Keyword Perfect Lightroom plugin. Um, to begin, we begin on the website, and you can uh, download the installation program uh, from the free trial, buy now, or get started. So let's click on the get started, and that takes you to a page which shows you all of the different plans and features and uh, you can buy it there or you can go and do the free trial version so you click on the free trial version it takes you to a register page and uh, you get to watch me uh, type which is always fun and uh, let me see what we can do and so you just type in your information uh, here you see the legal terms over here. You say I accept, and you hit the register button. Now your program is downloading to your downloads. You see up here it's filling up. And basically the text is telling you what to do, which is to drag the folder from your downloads onto your desktop, open it up. Um, if it's a zip file, double click it, and then read the README file. All right. So we go over here, and we go into here, and there's that. I've been doing that a couple of these. So we put it up there, and we double click on it, and there is the README file. This is also the plugin folder right here, and that's the installer for the Mac. So I read, double click on the README, how to install the Keyword Perfect Lightroom plugin. Make sure Lightroom is closed. Hey, I got that. Okay, here's Lightroom. Take Lightroom. Quit Lightroom. Got it. Tells me what's in the folder, the different installers, and gives me my installation op options. Okay. So if you know what you've installed a lot of Lightroom plugins, then you can simply do is take this file and put it into the folder that you usually put all your other um, plugins in. If you are not experienced and don't know what you're doing, uh, then you want to double click on the installer. Now, of course, my Mac tells me that I can't do that for security reasons. And I go into, if you get that message, I go into security, system preferences, uh, say OK, uh, security and privacy. And right here it says download apps only from Mac. I have to unlock that. <clears throat> you notice that it says you can open anyway, but it doesn't open anyway. So you need to go anywhere, allow from anywhere, then lock up your thing, close. OK, so now you can run the installer. Hit continue. It's going to put it on the um, your hard drive in your applications. Hit install. Give me another password. Install software. And now we're done. Isn't that easy? Okay, we're not quite done. So let's go back to the README file. How to check to see if the plugin folder was installed correctly. So we need to open up Lightroom. And we need to go, as you see here, we need to go to Library, Plugin Extras to see if the plugin has been put there. We go to Library, Plugin Extras, and there it is. So that's one thing, but that's a little too... Um, let's just say that's a little... that p picture is a little ro uh, rosy. Because sometimes it doesn't appear there, and you need to go to File, Plugin Manager, and you see here is Keyword Perfect installed. Let's see, we'll remove it. Okay, so I've removed it now. And sometimes when you do the installation, it doesn't show up, and you need to hit this Add button. So let's, uh, to do that, I need to go. You start by finding where the where the plugin is, and you start with your hard drive and you go into library application support adobe and lightroom there's the plugin i click 
on the plugin, add plugin, it puts it in the list here, and it's enabled and it's ready to go. So I say done, and then I go over to library, and I open Keyword Perfect, and there are the functions. All right, so let's open Keyword Perfect, because that's the whole goal here. And I open it up, and it brings me to the screen. It says I have 100 images remaining in the free trial. And welcome to Keyword Perfect Lightroom plugin. And I should import some images to get started, and I can watch the importing tutorial if I need help with that. All right, so that's how you do it. Now, let's go th back here um, with the worst case scenario. Let's get rid of Lightroom here. All right, so that worked pretty well. And now you'd see down here, this is where we tell you where the, the plugin should go. So on your Mac goes library, application stored Adobe Lightroom. In the PC users, you got to go to C, the user who's using the, the uh, users, and then the user who is logged in, and then uh, then uh, roaming Adobe Lightroom modules. And then, then that. Now, the worst case scenario is if these folders don't exist. So then you have to go to uh, library, application support, Adobe, and you might have to create the Lightroom folder and then once you've created it, then you drag the plugin over to the light to the um, to the folder, and that's another way to install it. Then you have to go back into Lightroom and make sure that it shows up down here or over here in the plugin manager. All right, so that is um, that is that, and I hope that was helpful. And thank you very much for watching.